CFS Warriors, it's Victoria, and I just finished a four-week challenge in a private forum of CFS Health Program. Just, I wanted to reboot my restorative movement after the holidays and get back into my routine. So I put out like a little challenge and I posted some videos and I just wanted to share on my YouTube channel. I thought I might as well share one of them on there just to kind of show you what I've been up to and what I do for my little movement routine. And just to underscore that all of this that I've done was under the supervision and with the principles of CFS Health Program. So I want to just be really clear about that because exercising with CFS can really crash you and they have a masterful, you know, restorative movement program and that's where I started. So anyway, but I thought it would be fun to share. So in case you're doing a movement routine, you might enjoy seeing what I do. Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you on the last week of our reboot for the restorative movement routine and I hope it's gone really well for you guys and thanks for doing this with me. You know, I've had a really good time and it's gotten me back into my routine and um, just gently and just getting back to it three to four times a week now so I really appreciate it. Hope you're going well with it. And I um, just want to show you some toys that I use. Like this is my absolute favorite and we'll get to that in a second. But I want to show you some of the things I use and it's been really awesome. So I have my yoga mat here and I have my little dumbbells that are just two pounds that I started with when I first started the program. I was one of the original members. And so these are great for your bicep curls and your triceps and all kind of fun stuff like that. And then I have my fun little orange ball that's a great little, you can do all kinds of different things with this. I use it for the inner thighs to do little presses like that, very gentle. And then I have a couple of different bands. I've got one that I can stick in the door and you can put this in the door and then do your upper body. And when you get these, like on Amazon, they also come with a workbook that'll kind of show you other things you can do. And um, this is another band that I use for like leg presses and things like that. So anyway, it's just fun to have this kind of stuff in your routine once you start working up to it because it kind of gives you a little pizzazz and we need a little variety. So, um, and this one is my absolute favorite and at the risk of looking really silly, I'm going to show you some of the things that I do on it. So um, this is just an awesome thing to have for just chilling out. So when you're, when I find that, you know, during the day, if I'm needing a little break, I'll just come in here. You just wrap yourself around the ball and you can just, this, it's a good stretch. You can also roll on the ball and that's a really good stretch. There are lots of things you can do with this and you can also, again, they'll have like a little instruction thing with it if you get this um, to tell you what else you can do. And then there's one more little thing I want to show you with this that's just the most awesome back stretch. So you just sit on it and then just stretch as far as you can with your arms. And uh, it's just really amazing. Yeah, so those are some of my fun tools for my workout. And like I said, I was one of the original members, so it's taken me time to work up to this. I really enjoy it. You know, last year was my most fabulous year in recovery yet. I did like five different trips, skiing, traveling through Europe. That was like traveling almost every other month. So I want to encourage you that these small routines, like I started with three minutes of walking and just like four wall push-ups and a couple of other exercises, that can really take you to great places. So it's where it all began for me. And that's why I wanted to do this routine reboot here because this program has meant so much to my recovery. And I just want to encourage you that are in it that might be like where I was when I was bedbound and housebound and just starting out. And it's so hard. And like I said in one of my other posts, you know, there were so many times I had to stop, so many tears, so many questions, am I ever going to get there? So I just want to encourage you that you can and to never give up. And, um, you know, I also want to talk a little bit about, you know, having a routine. I'm a mom. I've got two kids. Um, they're teenagers now. But, you know, um, it's hard to make time for it. And I have found, though, that as I made this my space, 
my little routine became almost like a meditation for me. So I've got my phone and I like to put on like just some healing music or something really gentle. I used to listen to really high vibe music and I do that sometimes. But I really prefer it to be more of a meditation. So I'll come in and I'll do my stretches and I'll do my exercises and it's just a really good centering time, and I just want to encourage you to make your routine something that you really enjoy and that you really get that calmness out of and that's something that you look forward to. So no matter where you start, you know, if it's just breathing exercises to start or whatever it is, just work something into your routine that's a daily investment in your recovery. So anyway, guys, I think that's it, but I just want to thank you again for joining me in the reboot. Um, it's gotten me moving, you know, I've gotten, you know, I had such a huge December with travel and then coming back for Christmas, uh, everything just went out the window, so it was really nice to get back to it, and it was great to hear everybody's comments. Um, so anyway, have a great last week of the reboot, and I hope it goes well, I hope you'll comment, let me know how you're going on it, and uh, we'll chat with you soon. Bye.